Okay, we're going to finish off uh, security management and also, in a sense, risk management with incident response. Um, this may seem a little bit strange, um, uh, possibly because we are uh, likely going to um, uh, delve into incident response in other places in more detail, and partly because it's sort of like, you know, what the heck does incident response have to do with uh, security management and risk management? But um, as we uh, go through some of this, um, hopefully you will uh, notice, uh, and I suppose uh, more as we get into uh, other related topics, that incident response uh, in its uh, totality has a lot of commonality with uh, risk mis management, uh, business impact assessment um, with uh, uh, business continuity planning, um, you know, a number of aspects there. And um, in addition, in, in terms of security management in general, uh, this gives us uh, sort of a first crack at the uh, kind of breakdown and structuring that we need to do in general terms in uh, project management um, and the uh, security frameworks that we talked about earlier and we'll talk about again uh, in terms of the breakdown frameworks uh, you know breaking down a huge project into manageable pieces uh, so that we can get a, a handle on uh, dealing with everything that we need to deal with. So, um, the first step in incident response is preparation. And well, you know, how do you prepare for an incident? Well, you know, uh, incident response planning is incident response planning. And the first step is, is planning. You know, what are you going to do? What are, uh, number one, the possible types of incidents that you expect may happen. Now, incident response is, in a sense, expecting the unexpected. So it's, you know, it's a little bit difficult to plan for absolutely everything. But think of what, you know, may happen. What are the types of attacks that have historically um, been mounted uh, against companies, enterprises, uh, and uh, what are, you know, the, the bad guys interested in doing? Um, how are they interested in doing it? What uh, is the, uh, the threat landscape like? And, and all of this stuff, you know, again, goes into what we have been talking about in, in terms of risk management. So the, the preparation... Uh, is involved with, you know, thinking what can go wrong and what are we going to do about it. And in particular, um, what kinds of training are we putting into place for our people who are going to be doing it? Now, who is going to get the first notification of what may turn out to be an incident? The, the events that go into... Uh, uh, in totality, and an attack on us. Well, uh, you know, it's going to be the users, maybe, who, who see something first. But who are they going to report it to? Probably technical support, right? Um, they see something unexpected. They see something going wrong. They see something that they usually can do that now they cannot do. So what are they thinking about um, in that regard? They're going to be asking technical support for help. And technical support, uh, as I usually ironically put it, these are the most experienced and highly paid uh, people in your organization, right? Well, no, they're not. Um, they, uh, but, you know, they, they should, they have a vital role 
an incident response in identifying that yes, an incident is happening that um, a a group of events seen in totality, and they're probably going to be the ones who start to see a pattern emerging if they are alerted to it, if they are trained for it. These are the people that we need to uh, uh, to train, to to think about, to plan for, to prepare for an incident and how to handle an incident. So, um, you know, that is uh, what we need to uh, consider. Um, that's part of the preparation that we need to uh, uh, to do. Um, and, and that turns then to detection. You know, they, they are the frontline people. They are the ones and that we have to... Uh, uh, train, um, give them information on uh, what they should be looking for, um, what uh, are the uh, the signs and symptoms, the um, issues uh, that may lead to the detection of an, an incident and actual attack against us. Or, you know, sometimes it's not an attack. Sometimes it's just something going wrong. So uh, we need to do that. Now, um, the very often the first thing that management is going to be concerned with is containment. And and in reality, you know that that probably is ours. If if this is an attack, can it be contained? Uh, how do we contain it? Do we just you know pull the plug if if uh, you know, it's on a network basis. Do we pull the network plug? Do we pull the power plug if it's uh, some other kind of attack? Um, if we don't know what's going wrong, you know, how how do we contain it? And of course, containment is partly turns on uh, availability. You know, is it important enough to keep this um, this system in operation and available to us that we can risk uh, the possibility of uh, a loss of confidentiality um, and, and we should consider integrity too you know is, is somebody messing with the data that we're doing what, what type of incident is it so um, you know all of these things have to be considered um, and you know do we contain it do we um, uh, do we launch an investigation uh, trying to identify the perpetrators? And that may work against containment. You know, we may have to leave the system open in order to obtain more information about who it is that's attacking us. Um, now, in, in terms of an attack, uh, particularly an attack that uh, may leave... Um, Malware, for example, or uh, uh, false information in our system, you know, there's eradication. What do we do about uh, addressing the issue and, and what kind of attack somebody has, has mounted against us? Um, you know, have they, uh, have they installed, uh, say, ransomware uh, that may be triggered at some time? Uh, have they installed ransomware that may have already been triggered? And if so, um, and ransomware, there's a lot of options there. Um, you know, can we fix it ourselves? Uh, is this a, a ransomware group who's, uh, who uses one particular key and that key is known? Uh, so, you know, there's a number of things. You know, an attack has been uh, mounted on us. You know, how do we fix it? And then... You know, how do we restore? And <laughs> back up, back up, back up. I mean, you know, uh, that's one of the things that uh, keep on preaching, we keep on preaching, and yet, you know, so many people just simply don't get around to it. Um, and then there's, there's the follow-up. Uh, you know, uh, learning from the attack. Uh, again, you know, did we obtain information that we can pass along to law enforcement that... You know, uh, the perpetrators can be tracked down. Uh, are we going to make our uh, information technology colleagues 
aware of the existence of this attacker or group or whatever it may be. So, you know, what kind of follow-up do we have? And there we end.